even a stranger that sojourneth in Israel, which separated himself from me and set him up his idols in his heart. Sister, sister, come here. Come here. You asked something about abominations? What was the question? I said, why is it abominations? Read it again. The book of some of our people done these things before they learned that law. A lot of people didn't learn that that's a law of God or a requirement of God. Right. Do you believe? Listen, do you believe in God? Do you believe in Jesus? What color is uh, Jesus? What color is God? You said no color? Where did you learn that at? Because everything we learn, we learn from the voice of our God. Say it again, sir. Say it again. That's important. Oh, she don't know. Okay, good, good. That's why you're here, so you can learn. Let's, let's learn why it's an abomination. Read. Leviticus chapter 18, verse 18. Read. Neither shall they take a wife to her sister. These are laws that Moses are giving the children of Israel. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians are the true Israelites. Our identity, our names, who we truly are was changed. How was it changed, sister? How was it changed? It was changed through slavery. Right. You didn't always speak English. Your people didn't always speak English. Right? We was we were shown that language. We were shown these customs. We were shown how to falsely worship our God. That's all I agree. To vex her, to uncover her nakedness, beside the other in her lifetime. So the Lord said, don't do it. That's why it's an abomination. And as believers of God, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna study this word, you're gonna find out what God says to do and not to do. And you start reading the things the Lord said, don't do. You're going to realize I shouldn't do that. That's right. If I've done it before, if I love doing it, i got to cut myself off from it. Because that's the only way we're getting into the kingdom of heaven. Y'all trying to get to the kingdom of heaven? Or y'all want to stay like this forever? Y'all want to stay on the bottom of the society forever? Right. Y'all want to have y'all children? Y'all got children? You got children? You got sons? You got daughters? One daughter, you want her to, to be raised up by a society that allows them to be abused, to be raped? You want her to continue to have to be faced with these different curses? No, you don't. You want her to have the best possible future. If you didn't have that chance, guess what? You can give your, your daughter that chance. That's right. And how we do how we do that? By listening to the voice of the Lord our God. Right. I'm gonna check that out later. Sister, did you get a flyer? Y'all want to call us. Look on the back of the flyer. We got information on that, right? So I'm gonna ask you a question. Why is there so many people addicted to drugs? Why is so many of our people addicted to drugs? Thank y'all. Uh, sometimes I think it's uh, oh, life in general uh, of, of the situation a person is going through. Because of the situation a person is going through. Like if they lose a job, they lose a job. Uh, uh, maybe a loved one, or uh, getting in, 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 uh, to it from another person. Do you think that people at the age of 30 or 40 are introduced to it and then they start being career drug addicts? Or does it start when they're younger? I think it starts when they're young. It starts when they're young, absolutely. Because they have no guidance, right? And a lot of times, people got the mentality that they're only going to live one time. Give me that um, Wisdom of Solomon too. The, uh, people, my sister, my sister, listen up. My brother, my brother, listen up. How you doing? What do you see yourself on that sign? It's a car. It's, it's a car. car. It's a car in the building. Listen, we trying to figure out why people are so addicted to substances. Right? And the Bible got the answer as to why. Right? Read. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 1. For the ungodly said, Listen, those who are in the midst of sin, this is their frame of thought. This is what they say. We reason it with themselves. They reason within themselves because they don't reason with God. They don't reason with the laws of God. They say this is good for me. 
Not understanding that a lot of the stuff that they feel like is good is abominable. Right. The Lord. Read. But not a right. Not right. Read. A life is short and tedious. We only going to be here a small amount of time, brothers. Listen, you hear what the Bible say? The Bible said our people say you only live once. The Bible says our people say YOLO. Read. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. Ain't nobody died and came back. That's what the Bible said. Read. Neither was there any man known to have returned from Ain't the grave. came back and told us this is how you got to walk. That's, right, really That's right. what the Bible is saying about our people's mind state today. You only live once. Ain't nobody died and came back. So I might as well live my life now. Read. Take it out. For we are born of oh, a future. We are, but we born just by happenstance. We ain't here for no specific purpose. We just born because. Read. And we shall be here after as though we had never been. Uh, verse, six. verse 6. Come all of them forth. Let us enjoy the good things that are present. You hear that? All this good stuff that's present. All this good weed. All these good drinks. All these good pills. All these good women. All this stuff that's here that's present. Let's take our pride in it. Because we're only going to be here a small amount of time. Right. Right. That's what our people thinking. Bring it out. Read. And let us speedily use creatures. No, nah, no, nah, slowly. Let us speedily. Let's run and do this thing. We, 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 hey, we can't wait to jump off the porch. Right. Our people can't wait to sell death to their people. Our get people up. think they're going to get rich being dope boys. You ain't never getting rich being no dope boy. That's right. Read. Right. And let us speedily use the creatures like as in you. Read. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and you ointment. That? You hear that? Let's get that top shelf. Let's get that douce. Let's get that Hennessy. Let's get whatever fine designer drug is on the market and let's pop that thing. What? You hear that? Listen to the mind state of our people. Hey, you got a flyer, you call us. It's time for your people to wake up and realize that we the same people. What? Ain't no division between us. You understand that? We. And let no flower of the spring pass by us. Don't let no beautiful woman pass by us. If she look good, I'ma look and I'ma grab her, I'ma take her. Let's not let them pass by us. Right. We, we want our part in that, though. That's what the Bible says. Our people ain't ever thinking like that, though. We Let us crown ourselves with Rosebirds. We gonna crown ourselves. I'm the king of I'm the king of the South. I'm the king of the West Side. I'm the king of the dope boys. I'm the king of whatever. Listen, listen to what our mind state of our people is. Read. Before they be withered. Let none of us go without his part of our voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. That's why it's baby daddies and baby mamas everywhere. Right. Because one brother who got this you only live once attitude, he dipping in everything he see that he like and he leaving kids there. That's the token. Read that again. Let none of us go without voluptuousness. Let us leave tokens of our joyfulness in every place. Read. For this is our portion, and our lot is this. Papa was a roll of stone. Well, he made his hat with his home. Right. You understand that? Read. What's the limit on the black man life these days? I don't know what you're living these days. I got you. Not long as you keep smoking that square. That's right. Read. Give me that first uh, Corinthians. Okay, hey, sir. I'm about to find you yourself. First Corinthians, chapter 3. My brother, my brother. My brother, listen. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Know ye not that you are the temple of God? You, you, we, we are the temple of God. We, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. The Lord want to dwell in you. Remember I was telling you how these laws are spiritual? And you even dressing out of accordance will remove that spirit from you? What? So sin will remove the Spirit of God from you. My brother, listen up. This is the life expectancy of the black man. Read it. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. If any man defile the temple of God. How do we defile our temple, brother? You know what it means to defile something? It means to destroy, to degrade, to diminish the value of. You diminish the value, you degrade, or you destroy your body by putting impurities in your body. Right. Right. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. So you do these things, smoke cigarettes, yeah. for instance, what's going to happen? Him 
shall God destroy. Him shall God what? Destroy. Your life ain't gonna be too long, brother. Put the cigarettes out. Put the cigarettes away. If you gotta back off, throw the things away. What benefit is there? What? What benefit is there? Let's go back to Wisdom of Solomon and figure out why so many people are in the condition they're in, comfortable destroying themselves. Why are they comfortable destroying themselves? My brother, why are our people comfortable destroying themselves? Listen to me, listen to me. He's he just on post. I'm going to do the conversation. Why are our people so hell-bent on destroying themselves? Read two and one. Read two and one. Because he wasn't here when we read this. But this is the mass state of our people. This is why our people destroy themselves. Listen. Where's the Messiah in chapter 2, verse 1? For the ungodly said, the ungodly or the sinners. Do you know what sin is? How do we define sin? You ain't got to go to it. Wrong, wrong according to who? If I step on your shoes, is that wrong? So is that a sin? It's not. So you're ungodly right now because you don't know what sin is. You stay a little while, we're going to show you what sin actually is. But I want to bring out the point of who the ungodly is in that frame of mind. Read. Reasoning with themselves. The ungodly or the sinners, my brother, they reason within themselves or they think to themselves what? But not a right. But it's not right. The way they think ain't right. If you don't have the laws of God in your mind, it's not right. Whatever it is you're thinking. Sorry. Giving away whatever it is you give away, it's not right. Sorry. Because you're not filtering it through the laws of God. Right. Read. Our life is short and tedious. And in the death of a man, there is no remedy. Neither was there any man, nor to have returned from the grave. So they're saying you only live once. Nobody's died and came back. That's a lie. Christ died and he came back and he showed us this the way you want. Look at me. I'm here in the flesh. I was talking that talk before they put me on the cross. Now I'm here. Look at me. Listen to what it is I'm telling you. The Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is here today to show y'all right. our people are in the lower state and it's time to come up out of there. Hey. It's been time. Bring Aren't you up. tired of our people dying at the hands of our oppressors? Or do you like men in captivity? Do you like having to pay bills? Do you like having to pay for wood that was given to you? This was given to our people. We shouldn't have to pay for nothing. Water, we shouldn't have to pay for that. That's, that comes free. Clean air, why do we have to pay for clean air? We pay taxes for clean air. Why? Right. What you got? Give me uh, Romans 1. We're going to go to Romans 1 now. So, these people think to themselves, I can do what I want to do. God ain't real. Right. Nobody ever came back from the dead to tell me how to walk. This, this is the way our people think it. And look, listen to God's response. Read. Romans chapter 1, verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who said that you ain't got to keep the commandments no more? Right. Who said that dressing abominable is the actual way to dress now? Who said that our sisters can walk around show our flesh? Who said that our brothers can sell drugs and it ain't nothing to it? Who said these different things? Who said that we can make baby mamas and baby daddies? Who said that? Right, read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? And it's a lie. We live in a lie in these communities. Read. And worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Look, everybody under the sound of my voice, look at my hand. Who is this? Who is that? Good, good. Look at his face. Who is that? In the churches, who do they teach us that this is? Huh? Where do we find that image at? You found it on planet Earth? You found it in the Word of God? No. We found it in churches, though. Right. So what the heck is those churches teaching? What are they teaching? Lies. Lies, right? So lies, read. Serve the creature more than the creator. We've been serving the creature. We've been serving the teachers of white Jesus this whole time we came out of slavery. Right. We never understood who the black Messiah was. Yeah. We never knew that our brothers and sisters were kings and princesses on this earth. We never knew that we was made us as we are in the image of God. We never knew that. They never told us that. But it's in a book that they tried to show us and misteach us. It's in this book. You know why? Because this is our book. Our book describes Christ as a black man. Our book describes that there'll be another, give me that in Corinthians. Uh, is that one to ten? That there'll be another, 11 to 10? I got you. 11 to 4? I got, got you. I got you. I got you. There will be another Christ. Our book told us that. To do what? To warn us. Stay on point. Stay on guard. Right. 
And if we happen to fall like we fell, listen to the preachers who bring it out to you. Listen to the prophets. Something may add up. Read. Second Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Read. Verse 3. But I fear lest any man, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, right. so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. It's simple to serve Christ. It's simple to love your brothers and love yourself. It's simple to do those things. Right. But a lot of our people told us, Christ is the only one perfect. Can't nobody be perfect. Christ, our people say, nobody died and came back. But it's simple to serve Christ. Right. Y'all should not kill. Is that hard or is that easy? It's easy to, to keep the beard on your faces. You got that. Y'all got that. It's easy to dress in the fashion that the Lord told us to dress in. That's easy. Christ taught us these things. Ain't nothing hard about doing that. You know when it becomes hard? When we don't want to do When we don't want to hear what Christ has to say. That's when it becomes hard. Because we want to hold on to what we think is right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.